hype surrounding the Browns team this season. Believe it or not, anything less than a playoff appearance for those Browns this year would be considered a failure. This is back-to-back -back Browns topics to kick off April, a very important month in the NFL season. Yeah. The hype is at an all-time high for the squad. This is the most talked about team right now of the offseason because of all the moves they've made, the aggressive nature. But I say believe it, and that is a lot for Freddie Kitchens on his shoulder, a guy who was a position coach last year, a running backs coach, then elevated to offensive coordinator. But when you go 7-8-1 and one and you bring in Odell Beckham and Olivier Vernon and everyone is talking about potentially getting four to five primetime games on the NFL schedule, you can't be a mediocre team. You need to be a playoff team. Mm. That is the expectation. Anything less than that is a disappointment, and I believe they will get there. I think the Browns have all the right stuff I just don't know if Freddie Kitchens is a good head coach. I don't know if Freddie Kitchens is a head coach. Got to see him a little bit at the owners' meetings. There is no resume on Freddie Kitchens as far as being that guy leading a room in the offseason, leading even an offense in the offseason. He's always been a positions coach or something below that. So it's a fascinating hire. All the responsibility to me relies on him now because he's got to get all these personalities, all these mouths to feed, get them all on the same page in a division that seems to be wide open. I heard he stole the show a little bit out there in the desert. Is that true? And did you hear anything the other coaches might have had to say about him? Everyone loves him. This guy is cool. He's a former player in Alabama. And everyone says his charisma is off the charts. And the players already seem to be right in line with him. But what's going to happen come October when there is some adversity? What's going to mm -hmm. happen come November where you guys are down two games in the division to the Steelers and the Ravens and we need to get something going? Is Freddie Kitchens the guy that's the great unknown because he's never had to do it before? Yeah, I don't care if you can crack a joke in a crowded room. Can you call a play in a crowded stadium? That's the ultimate question. And I feel like it is going to come down to Freddie Kitchens. To answer the question, I say no. You know, if you go 9-7 and seven for the Cleveland Browns, that's a fantastic step in the right direction because of where they came from. Seven, eight, and one. That's everybody figuring out a way to trend in the right direction. But I say that 10 and six is the goal. Nine and seven would be great. I think everybody in that stadium, everybody on that team, everybody within that organization will walk away saying, all right, we're doing things the right way. Disappointment if they go nine and seven and miss the playoffs. Yes, Steelers win one thousand percent. No, it's not. Why? Why are we putting all this on the Browns? You know how many teams we sit and watch every season and we say, oh, you know, let's let's give them a pass because they had this injury or that injury. Because now, the sudden, table is set because they went and made so many changes and they are taking a step forward. I think the Steelers, sorry Steelers fans, look like they're taking a step back. No Antonio Brown, no Olivia Bell. Maybe they're rebuilding and they'll surprise me. The Ravens losing three of their defensive veteran superstars taking a step back the additions made by the Browns the table is set for them to take a step in the right direction first it was let's win a game and let's crack open the bud lights and then it's let's get to a winning record which should be now and I think that goes hand that's in a hand win, 97 playoffs. is a winning record I just feel like in that division I would I if I'm a Browns fan I'm not going to be I'm going to be disappointed if they don't make the playoffs I will be yeah. it's the Steelers it's the Ravens and then it's the Browns right now like, we have to understand that the Cleveland Browns at 9-7, and seven, a winning record, they, they had the they're high-fiving everybody. They had the most hype in the league last year, and they added Odell Beckham. I get that. I understand what you're saying, but I don't understand why we're putting so much pressure on the Cleveland. You know, I, I'll, I'll sit here and say that the Cleveland Browns will win 10 games. I'm just saying, let's not get too ahead of ourselves right now. You know how many teams missed the playoffs last year? Do you know how many teams? We gave, every team, we gave all these teams passes that missed the playoffs. Dude, the Rams went from 4-12 and 12 to division winners to Super Bowl. Like, that's what the NFL is right now. That is just what it is. I'll There's no this. slow play on this. How many new coaches are there? Eight? Eight. I think he is the one that I'm most comfortable in. I don't, he's the one that I know least about, Freddie Kitchens, to lead his team to the playoffs. Out of all the new coaching hires, and there's one with Aaron Rodgers up there in Green Bay. It is all of the additions they made with the Browns and all the other things that happened to shake up the rest of that division. New offensive coordinator. More comfortable. New defensive yeah. coordinator. New defensive scheme. It's very easy on paper to look at the additions and say, Brown, but paper champs. there's a lot that has to happen for them to be good, and they haven't been good. 7-8-1 and one is, not a, is not a good team. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to pump the brakes. I've already said that they're going to win the division. I'm on record saying that. I'm just saying let's pump the brakes with expectations. 9-7 and seven is still a They win the game. division. They're in the playoffs, Nate. I know.